Hi everyone and welcome to the first Skylark soundbite of 2021. I hope you're well. Well, it is the day after the night before. Boris has made his announcement and we are now locked down and the schools are closed until at least February half term. Um, the landscape has changed dramatically, hasn't it? And for many of us, it seems like the very worst parts of 2020 the year that we hoped we'd left behind have followed us into 2021. So I am sitting in the lounge at the moment and Saren is on the floor building a tower. Mummy and Aria are next door um, as a bit of homeschooling is going on. Now we find ourselves in a season where we have to look after a two-year-old and homeschool um, a five-year-old as well as lead a church and a network and um, it's going to be a juggle. It's going to be tough, isn't it? It's going to be tough for so many of us, actually, as we try to work out how on earth we prioritise and how we, we do all of the things that, that we've got in front of us to do. I just want to remind us of a couple of sort of key teachings that Nikki and I have spoken on before at the start of this year, and hopefully they'll, they'll remind you uh, of how to look after yourself in all of this. And the first one is that analogy from when you're on an aeroplane. Do you remember when we used to be able to do that? And the, you get the demonstration of the oxygen mask and it comes down and it says, hello. I'm not going to do lots of takes today because this is reality. Just say hi. <laughs> right, there you are, you're there. Right, okay, so the oxygen mask drops hey, down. Okay, stay here. Hey, the oxygen me. mask drops down and um, they always hey, say you need to foot... Me. You fit your own oxygen mask first. Um, shall I do this again? No, I'm going to still keep going. Fit your own oxygen mask first um, before you help other people. And uh, so often in, in times like this, when we find ourselves in, in these tough times where we're struggling and we're being pulled in all sorts of directions, we cannot fit our own oxygen mask and we can find ourselves struggling because we're giving out and giving out and giving out, but we have no time to be replenished ourselves. So can I remind you in this period of lockdown to find the things that replenish you and make sure that you do those things as well as give out to other people. And remember to hang out with Jesus because that will be life and breath to your very soul to your very being the second thing is to be kind to yourself remember that too i am not going to be the best dad that i can be over the next couple of months I i'm not going to be the please. you go to mama that would be great but i'm not going to be the best church leader or network leader husband i'm sure that i'm just everything's going to be suffering a bit because um i'm just juggling around and trying to do the best i can that's how it's going to be for you too be okay with that be comfortable with that it's a good time for us to look and to prioritize um, and to see what is important and where we should be investing our time wherever possible. But remember, you're not going to be doing things perfectly. We're doing things the best we can and we are going to stay close to, as we always say, to God and to each other. And we are going to get through this. We are going to get to the light that is at the end of the tunnel. So be kind to yourself. Fit your own oxygen mask on first and don't Beat yourself up if things aren't going perfectly. And if a small child jumps into the middle of your Zoom call for work, don't worry about it. This is life. This is reality. We're all muddling through this together and we are going to muddle through to the other side. They're my musings for today. You take care of yourself. Sorry it was a bit chaotic in the middle. Take care and see you soon. Bye.